So I've just done all of the hard work and then Bee's turned up ready to jump in the bath so she gets first dibs obviously and she's just ready, completely naked. Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video from our land here in Portugal. It's an absolutely scorcher of a day. We're talking 27 degrees. So what better day to take a bath? I'm gonna show you guys an update all about our bath, which is completely finished and we've been using. It works flawlessly along with our composting toilet, which is finished. I've actually shot a video all about finishing the composting toilet but the footage went missing, so this video is to fill that gap. So here's an outside look of our toilet shower block, if you've not seen it already. It'll just get past this bush here, and you can see it in all its glory. It is, like I said, working perfectly. We've got the windows cracked because it's a very warm day, just to let a nice through breeze. And over here is our utility area. So that's where we wash dishes, dry dishes and whatnot. And then if I come past this tree over here, we can go inside and have a look and see what I've been up to. So before Theo shows you guys inside the cabin, I wanted to say a big thank you to Squarespace who have sponsored today's video. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Right, so up the stairs and in to the cabin. And you can see already that we've added a nice little wash basin and the simplest tap system that I could come up with. It's absolutely perfect, it does the job and it's sitting on this super rustic shelf which I love. All you do for the tap is literally just turn that and water comes out into our jam pan sink and we can wash our hands and that goes down here into a little container which is perfect and once that's full it takes ages to fill that container up and once that's full we can just empty that out so a lot of people have said that it might be a little bit over the top but that's kind of how i do things and i wanted to make sure it was super comfortable you know this thing is going to last years and years and it's so comfortable we've had people who have never experienced off-grid life and I've really enjoyed the experience of just going to the toilet because there's a beautiful view. You know, it is a poo with a view, which uh, is the main thing that I wanted, but it's very comfortable, especially if you have to come uh, to the toilet in the night or anything like that. It's, it's nice and windproof, so if it's a rainy day, it's also comfortable to use. So I have shown you guys the composting toilet before. It's a very simple uh, toilet. It's just a bucket system with a vent that goes out the back and up here I've added a new little uh, device to hold the toilet roll which is quite nice. We just had this hook lying around so we thought we'd utilise it. And further up next to the toilet we've added this nice mirror so that in the morning you can come brush your teeth, see what you look like and get ready for the day. And Bee's just added some, uh, some nice kind of heather that was lying around on the land, but it's one of my favorite areas this is. I love that pallet wall. The other side of this wall is going to be a shower. So this doorway leads to our shower area. It's not completed yet, as you can probably tell, but it will hopefully be completed soon. And we've got two nice big windows for ventilation that open right up. This window's got a nice view out the front and then over here, this one actually looks over what I like to call our spa area, our off-grid spa area, which is actually a wood-burning bath that I'm going to be showing you next. It's actually our last day on the land, which is kind of sad. I've got mixed feelings. Like, I don't want to leave because I want to continue all of these awesome projects, but I know when I come back, it's going to be here and I can carry on. And in the meantime, there's some amazing traveling to be done. As you guys probably know already, we are going on an expedition 
to Arctic Norway and we're going to do some crazy adventuring there in our new van which is very exciting and we're going to be documenting the whole process. So before I show you how the bath works, I wanted to show you this awesome device that BioLight sent us for our toilet. And basically, it is called the BioLight Solar Home 620. And you get this battery bank here that charges up with a solar panel and it runs three different lights with light switches. It's incredible, we've been using it on our caravan and one of the lights, this one here, it has a sensor, so I'm going to put that in front of the door, so when you walk through the door of the toilet, the light turns on. And this thing right here isn't just a battery bank, it's its own multimedia system. So, you can play music through the speaker, you can see there, via an SD card, so you can play your MP3s while you're doing a poo or in the shower. You've got its own light, so the switch for the light is just there if you don't want to use the overhead lights. There's a few other settings that I'll show you in a minute, but you can even charge your phone right there via these two USB sockets, which is amazing because I'm always short on phone battery. And then if I come down here till the LED screen, see if you can see that, turn it on. It's Saturday, April the 27th, 6.46. And then you can scroll through 20 hours until empty. So it does really good on the battery. There's no solar plugged in at the moment. And then you've got your FM radio and your MP3. Okay guys, so now we are going to move on to one of my favorite additions to the land, the wood-fired bath. So first up, I built this tiny cute little staircase up onto the rock where the bath is situated. So it's a lovely little area and the bath itself is cladded in reclaimed wood. And then on this side, we have railway sleepers as the steps to get into the bath. So this is my favorite side of the bath. It just looks really nice with the steps leading onto the rock. And then you can see, this is the hatch right here. This is where you feed uh, the fire, put the wood to heat up the bath. So if I go up here, you'll be able to see right through there, I've created an area out of stone and cement. Let me see if I can go right inside. So out of stone and cement, it's completely sealed and it's got its own flue out and it burns really, really nicely and quickly. It's really efficient. So a lot of people are probably going to be confused that it's all cladded in wood and that's close to a fire, but it's actually not that close. The wood on our old narrow boat was a lot closer than the wood burner than the wood is to this fire and it's got its own door so everything's away. I made sure that there's a massive air gap all the way around the bath so there's no problems. The wood doesn't even heat up because it's so self-contained and it's really good. Like I said, it's really efficient. It, it heats up a lot quicker now, so I'm going to get the fire going because I know B's anxious to get a bath for sunset. So whilst I've just basically lounged around all day and had a really wonderful day relaxing and now Theo makes a bath for me, I don't think it gets much better than this. I count myself very lucky that I have a boyfriend who's willing to make a fire, a wood-fired bath for me so thank you very much Theo. <laughs> Before I go and have my bath though I'd like to say a little bit about Squarespace who have sponsored today's video. They're who we have our website through which is just absolutely amazing. We have no experience with building websites so with Squarespace it's really simple it's just drag and drop they have loads of different templates for you to use and we love it because it looks professional, it's easy to use, easy to navigate, and it also means we can host things like our podcast on there, our blog, we have our free ebook on there, loads of other things, it's fantastic. So if you wanna give it a go, if you want a 14 day free trial and 10% off Squarespace, head to squarespace.com slash indie project and give it a go. Right, I think I'm ready for my bath. So I've got three of these containers which equals 65 litres of water which is quite a lot of water so you can imagine how much water you waste in a normal house having a bath however often you have a bath. 
but what we do is we use the water probably two or three times we try and get two or three baths out of it which I know some of you city folk will be a bit disgusted about and it's not normal but trust me it's, it's completely fine so I've just got to fill this bath up and then I can get the fire going So the brilliant thing is about this bath, we never buy wood to use in it. There's so much scrap wood around our land so we can basically just heat in this bath completely free, which is amazing. So there we go, the smoke's well and truly coming out of the flue now, which means it's roaring and in about 30 minutes we'll have ourselves a nice warm bath. So I've just done all of the hard work and then Bee's turned up ready to jump in the bath so she gets first dibs obviously and she's just ready, completely naked, <laughs> not really. <laughs> But yeah, it's going to be good. I'm going to jump in the bath after her and I can't wait. It's our last bath on the land. It. I'm going to miss it. I can't not, wait. Not ever, not no, ever until next season. winter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so nice having a bath, especially outside. I think some people were kind of surprised when we first built the bath outside that it was going to stay outside. But honestly, bathing outside in a wood fired bath is a totally different experience to being in a bath in a house, trust me. So yeah, it's sunset, I'm in a hot bath, oh, it's perfect. Head over to theindieproducts.com forward slash shop and check out our new merchandise. Join us on Patreon for exclusive content and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.